my name is Diane. And I'm Robin. We're going to show you some social studies books from the 1950s and 60s. Social studies is a mix of history and geography. I must admit I did love my social studies book. Absolutely, I think it was one of my favourite subjects well, I, in school. I did take a lot of care in the mapping, I really liked the mapping. I loved it when we had to map Australia. That was so much fun, wasn't it? How did you do that in your map of Australia? Well, what we did was, we got a map and we traced it on the page. Yes, yes I like that way that you did your map. That I, I had a stamp. We just stamped and then I traced around it in black. That's a but good idea. I wasn't finished then. Oh. The inside of the map, I had to make it green and brown for the country. I really like the lights where we were spend a lot of time doing my illustrations and shading. I liked shading the green in the middle of Australia. Do you remember how you did the water? We did the water, we shaded around the out, outer edge of the map. What did you use? We used a blue pencil and then we got our fingers and we shaded around like I did that, that too. Yeah. And labelling, we had to label labeling. everything. And I think one of the most exciting parts I do remember of social was studies was the title page. You sat there and you just got really creative. The teacher didn't mind what you did as long as it was. It had the title. Was it, so, what was your favourite thing you learned? Well, I was intrigued learning about George Stevenson's rocket. Oh, I remember that. He was an inventor, hmm. and he invented the first steam train. We have many social studies books in our collection, probably because students took great pride in their work and kept their books forever.